The winter storm that's been affecting the eastern United States and southeast Canada has caused a lot of disruption, partly down to the sheer quantity of snow. There's been two feet of snow that's fallen in Ohio, and also it's been very windy too. In fact, gusts up to about 70 miles per hour. Now, the big waves and strong winds drove in some coastal flooding to Connecticut, and as of Monday morning, there were 200,000 people without power across the region. Now, this was the picture in Pennsylvania. So the region really blanketed in snow, which fell in quite a short space of time, only about 12 hours worth of snow, some very icy conditions on the roads. We've had a lot of transport disruption. Thousands of flights have also been cancelled as well. Now, the area of low pressure that brought all this disruptive weather is pushing to the north. So still some snow to come up towards northern Quebec into Labrador as well. Some heavy rain and strong winds for Newfoundland too. But things looking a little bit quieter for a time for the northeastern states up towards southern Quebec as well. But take a look later on Tuesday and into Wednesday. This system is approaching. Now this is an Alberta clipper. It's going to bring some lake effect snow around the Great Lakes heading towards southern Quebec as well. The snowfall won't be quite as heavy and further south it'll be falling as rain with some squally winds too. But we're not quite out of the woods in terms of some wintry weather for the northeastern states and Eastern Canada too.